honored to be joined tonight by Ari Lillianwall of MLSsoccer.com, Toby Dunkelberg, Post America beat writer, Seattle area soccer legend and former Seattle Sounders manager Alan Hinton, and Post America beat writer for Seattle and Portland, Ed Pham. Uh, we have a great little program for you with a little Q&A on Cup Bound and Crown, the Timbers winning MLS Cup. And so uh, we started out with some questions from you guys about uh, the book, about our writing in it, and so I think we'll get started from there. This book is absolutely brilliant. And I would love it to be Seattle next year. <laughs> you know, but in the end, I salute, I salute uh, the Portland Timbers. We could not win it. We were out. So I, I thought about it, and I go, it won't be a bad deal if Portland win it. So I say congratulations to the Timbers. When the Sounders were out of the playoffs last year, I analysed the situation, and naturally I wanted the Sounders to win the championship, but the Sounders were out. So I analysed who was left, and I watched... Portland win 5-2 to two in LA in LA when they had not been a good road team they had not been a good road team and I thought something's going on in Portland so I said maybe it's a good idea and it's good for Cascadia if Portland win it it doesn't mean to say I'm negative against the Sounders what I felt was if they win it it makes the rivalry stronger because now Portland's going to be coming down here with their chest hanging out and we're, going to, we're the champions and the Sounders are going to be desperate for us to beat Portland. So that's what rivalry is all about and I've been raised in rivalries. I respect the Portland Timbers. I appreciate what you've accomplished but when the game starts I don't wish you any luck at all. <laughs> You know, I can't speak to what the front office was really feeling. I can't imagine they were very happy. But I definitely think, honestly, more of the mentality, kind of what Coach was saying, I think more than rage and anger at, um, at Portland for winning MLS Cup, but I, I think it does make it stronger and it pumps the intrigue up and it makes Cascadia look good to have one of those teams win. So, our Sounders fans rooting for the Timbers as a secondary thing? No, but I agree. I, I, I think it does make it a lot stronger, and that's kind of what I've been observing so far from my standpoint. Um, Ed, I think that some would argue that with Timbers winning MLS Cup 2015, there's now no debate for some anymore in that Gavin Wilkinson is more successful in his role than Adrian Hanauer and Chris Henderson have been in theirs. Is Wilkinson clearly the more talented scouter? He, was, he spent a lot of time, he's put a lot of heart into trying to find the right people and, and, you know, and working with the coaching staff too because like he was trying to find you know, like people that Porter wanted as well. It wasn't just like, oh, I'm, I'm, it's, what, it's, it's my, my final decision. It was like, I'm spending all this time trying to find these guys. So like Milano, for example, right? They spent, how, like what, two years scouting him? And before they made the investment, it's like it's things like that. Like he spent a lot of time and heart into what he's done. He's willing to take a lot of flack. Wilkinson's, I think, done a great job of that, of really focusing on value in players. So partly going to Latin America, but partly in a DP, right? They're looking at really, I guess what it really comes down to is that they're going to have a bigger impact on the club measured over years, whereas kind of a Sounders player is $3 million player for two years, $3 million player for two years, right? So they've gotten, Tiffert was kind of a really good example of that. He came here, it didn't quite work out, and he moved on. And so you're not getting the same kind of value towards your team, value on the field, as you would when you kind of are almost forced into going after bigger name players, bigger name guys who are going to have kind of that marketing oomph, I, I guess. And so that, that to me is really the main difference in those two, almost just based on economic scale and the factors that affect you as a general manager of the two different clubs. The Timbers have won MLS Cup and you know when you average double somebody else's attendance and you take in that much more money that should theoretically translate to something on the field. I think that's part of what makes what the Timbers did so impressive. LA's in this league, NYCFC has unlimited oil money and it's the Timbers with Paulson, with Wilson, with Wilkinson, excuse me, making the most out of what is admittedly plenty but it's not as much as some others have, and that, that cleverness, that's, 
That's something that adds to how special this trophy was for the Timbers. Um, the main part about winning the championship was it confirmed what I already knew in my heart, of course, is that Portland is superior to Seattle. Um, so that was my favorite part. You know, being the first team in Cascadia to win the championship is great. Um, but it was a lot of validation, I think, for a lot of stuff that the fans have been through with Seattle's success in the Open Cup and uh, Supporter Shield. It was It was nice for us to get one for our team. Um, and I think, like, like you guys said, it's going to make the, the rivalry that much better. So my moment of the MLS Cup was probably the uh, the 82nd minute when we started jumping up and down. Uh, and then in about the 94th minute when we stopped jumping up and down and all fell over in a dog pile crying and hugging each other. <laughs> and my legs were so sore I couldn't jump around anymore. <laughs> I couldn't speak or anything. And Gavin Wilkinson came out on the field and said, let's go. We have a bar. <laughs> and bought us a bar. That was, that was amazing. My favorite part was the tailgate where you got to see everyone from all over the country coming to Columbus um, just to be part of you know, this special moment for the club, just being in the final, of course. Um, 27 seconds in the match, scoring a Wooden Valeri score that goal. Uh, I could barely celebrate. I didn't even. I was so super confused. I didn't even know if it was real. Raven and I had the opportunity to be at the Seattle party, which was a hundred strong in Seattle, frankly, which was amazing. Yeah, there were. I mean, I couldn't even get. I could barely get to the bar. Like Indeed. every time you wanted a beer, it was like swimming through huge Timbers fans. It was absolutely phenomenal. And then outside after the match, we lined up on the street with like flags waving. We're stopping traffic. People are screaming. It was absolutely completely bonkers, and we had a complete blast. Well, I wasn't actually in Seattle. I was down in Portland, and it was just amazing just <laughs> seeing the whole city celebrate. Like I think. The moment Valeri scored that goal, you could pretty much hear the entire city just go up in like a woo! 